Every year, fires tear through Indonesia's forests and peatlands. They destroy vast areas, putting the lives of people and wildlife at risk and releasing enormous quantities of carbon dioxide. Many of these fires erupt in land earmarked for development into plantations. In Indonesia, it's illegal for companies to use fire to clear land, so it's not surprising that the palm oil companies claim the fires have nothing to do with them. A new investigation by Greenpeace International and Forensic Architecture has used cutting-edge data analysis to investigate whether these claims hold up. The findings suggest that on land controlled by one company, Corindo, the fires have occurred in patterns consistent with deliberate use. These fires appear to have been used to clear land in one of Corindo's concessions in Papua, Indonesia's easternmost province. Papua forms a large proportion of the Indonesian half of New Guinea, the world's second largest island. It's a natural wonderland, covered in forests and savannas and wetlands. The region is home to diverse indigenous cultures and an astonishing array of plants and animals. Much of this land is untouched by commercial development, but timber and plantation companies are moving in, putting all this at risk. This new analysis supports the allegations that in remote areas, companies use fires as a cheap way to clear vast areas of forests. Forest fires can be devastating, blanketing cities and villages in thick smoke that even reaches neighbouring countries. A state of emergency has been declared in parts of Malaysia, choked by forest fires in neighbouring Indonesia. Peatland in these areas also burns, releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide, contributing to the climate breakdown. Following the fires of 2019, UNICEF estimated that the health of 10 million children was put at risk as a result of the smoke pollution across Southeast Asia. Even unborn children can be affected by the pollution these fires generate. One of the companies responsible for large-scale deforestation in Papua is Corindo, an Indonesian-Korean conglomerate with interests in palm oil and timber. Since 2001, Corindo has destroyed 57,000 hectares of rainforest in Papua, an area almost the size of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. And fires have often occurred in its concessions as forests get cleared for plantations. Corindo denies all allegations that fires were deliberately and illegally set on their land and claims it follows the law. To find out if Corindo is telling the truth, Greenpeace International teamed up with Forensic Architecture, a group of researchers who use spatial analysis to reconstruct cases of human rights violations and environmental destruction. The investigation looked at P.T. Dongin Prabawa, a Corindo concession in Papua. Analysis of satellite data shows that between 2011 and 2016, forest vegetation was cleared in a west to east direction. In May 2013, footage filmed by Greenpeace International over the concession clearly shows that fires were burning on this land. This confirms that heat sources detected by NASA satellites were, in fact, fires. If the fires in Corindo's concession were natural, the outbreaks would be irregular. But instead, tracking the pattern of fires over time shows that they clearly moved in a regular west to east direction following the pattern of forest clearance. This confirms that the fires in Corindo's concession were not natural and supports the accusation that the fires were set intentionally. And between 2012 and 2015, most of the fires in this region of Papua were in Corindo concessions. The devastation caused by these types of fires is often not restricted to the concessions where they start. Fires jump into surrounding forest and the smoke creates a health hazard for people and wildlife. If Corindo is using fires deliberately to clear its concessions, then it is breaking the law. Other allegations have also been levelled against this company. These include intimidation and torture of local people. NGOs and activists have faced legal challenges after drawing attention to the fires in Corindo's concessions. Despite this, Corindo is still certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. Companies are certified by the FSC for managing forests responsibly, using good social and environmental practices. 
in 2019, the FSC did conduct an investigation into Corindo's activities. However, the claim that Corindo had used fires to clear land was rejected and the full report was suppressed. As a result, Corindo continues to operate with the FSC's seal of approval. Corindo has also not been sanctioned by the Indonesian government despite earlier claims that the company was being investigated. To build its palm oil plantations in Papua, Corindo has relied on forest destruction and fires. This has left a legacy of social conflict, environmental degradation and contributed to the current climate catastrophe.